Hello, thank you for joining me for this Reaxis session today, which is all about reactions. This video covers most of the basics that are shown here in this list. The topic I'll use to illustrate these features is finding information on the transfer hydrogenation of ketones. Transfer hydrogenation occurs when hydrogen is added to a substance from a source other than H2. What are some of the hydrogen transfer reagents and catalysts? We'll look at several different ways to get to this information. This slide shows five direct routes to this information, including Ask Reaxis, the Reaxis tree, the Reaction Query theme, and the literature search form. I won't cover the advanced form today. I'll begin with a reaction structure search. Click the Reactions Query theme, then open a structure editor. I'll draw the query that was shown on the slide. Map the reaction to ensure that an atom in the reactant is analogous to an atom in the product by clicking here and then clicking and dragging. I will also open substitution in three places. The easiest way to do this is to use the lasso tool and type three keys, period S6. This is a shortcut that means maximum substitution allowed. So once I see the abbreviation on the mouse cursor, I can just click the atoms I want to designate for substitution. There is another way to do it. Right click on an atom and select edit atom substitution count S6. But you would have to do this for each atom individually. Transfer the query, select as drawn, and any other options you'd like. This results in over 2,000 reactions. Notice that reactions can have hundreds of reaction details associated with them, like this one with the over 200 details. Some of these details might show a focus on transfer hydrogenation reagents and catalysts, and others may not but you can narrow the focus either by filtering or in the query itself. Looking at the query form, you see that the top deals with options that pertain to a drawn structure. The bottom deals with reaction-related information taken from an article or patent and categorized into searchable fields. Many more fields can be added to your form by clicking here. These are a few fields to consider when you are looking for particular information in your reaction results. Record type, for example, for limiting to full or multi-step reactions. Reactions classification, when looking for chemical behavior as opposed to preparations. Reaction type, like named reactions or something like hydrogen transfer. Subject studied, here we might want to select catalytic behavior. The Reaction Full Text field is a way of searching over just the Experimental Procedure section. And you may already be familiar with the Reaction Basic Index field. This is a way of searching over all of the Reaction Details fields. This does not include the titles and abstracts. I'll return to my query and add a field. Subject Studied. And then select Catalytic Behavior. Sixty-five reactions are retrieved. Notice that catalytic behavior is highlighted. This is important because with this reaction, for example, there are thousands of reaction details, and this one has hundreds of reaction details, and you wouldn't want to be looking through that entire list just to find the four reaction details that contain catalytic behavior. Another thing to note is that the subject studied category is not one of the filters, and is used when setting up the query. As I scroll through my hits, I see that a lot of the catalysts are used with isopropyl alcohol. Let's say that I wanted to see all the reactions in the list that use isopropyl alcohol. I'll use the filter and check here. Notice that my list was filtered. I can see that by looking at the breadcrumbs at the top. It shows that I eliminated several reactions that did not use isopropyl alcohol. So the filtering was done correctly, but my results are still highlighting catalytic behavior, not isopropyl alcohol. 
If you use the By Value tab on the filter and type in isopropyl, you will then see the word highlighted in the results. I'm adding a wild card here so I don't have to type in two words. Now the isopropyl alcohol is highlighted. Export the filtered results. You can either select the reactions first or type in ranges on the export page. I'll select number 8. Click the export button. Select hit data only to isolate the details that contain isopropyl alcohol. Click OK. Click download. Here are the results as a PDF. This shows the query, the filtering, and even the hits selected. Each of these details contains isopropyl. You can see it better by highlighting the word. Another way to find information about transfer hydrogenation is to do a literature search. So you can open the literature theme and type into the Citation Basic Index field. This retrieves a list of over 1,000 citations. The Reaxis tree is another way of doing a citation search of the chemical literature. The tree represents a hierarchy of indexed terms. This will result in a very focused search, not necessarily the same comprehensive search that you would get from the literature search form, but a quick way to get specific information. I'll type in hydrogenation. A list will appear to let you know if the term is in the tree. Select it and then click search. Now you can see where the terms fall within the tree and just uncheck the ones you do not want. I don't want enthalpy of hydrogenation and I don't want these two on dehydrogenation. The two that are left may look identical, but they are not. This one shows these two named reactions as being part of a bigger branch called hydrogenation and I cannot uncheck one without unchecking the others. This one shows the same two named reactions but they are standing on their own and will result in far fewer results than the previous ones. Ask Reaxis is designed to be somewhat like a Google search and can interpret your query as either a reaction, substances, or a citation query. When I type in Noyori hydrogenation, I am presented with a few options and clicking here will give me more details about the proposed query. This one is a citation search for authors named Noyori. I don't want that. The third one is also a citation search, but it is a topic search, not an author search. And the second one is a reaction search that will show me examples of Noyori hydrogenations. Entering transfer hydrogenation of ketones into ASK Reaxis is a convenient search that will result in pretty much the same list that we retrieved previously from the Citation Basic Index field on the literature search form. The reaction searches revealed information about catalysts, and ruthenium catalysts came up frequently. If you need to do a search for a class of catalysts, start with a similar structure and right-click and select Copy Structure to Query. From there, you can bring the structure into the Structure Editor and then change the structure as needed using Query Features to generalize the query. When you return to the Query page, select Search by Reagent Catalyst. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, feel free to write to me at c.fleming at elsevier.com. Thanks again.